have Gianni Hunt, a junior guard for the Oregon State men's basketball team, here with me today. Um, thank you, Gianni, for doing this interview. Oh, yeah, thank um, you for having me. Yeah, no problem. Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, so my first question for you is what made you choose Oregon State over all the other schools that were recruiting you? Uh, I always wanted to play in the Pac-12 growing up in California, you know, West Coast. Um, my cousin, he was the first person in my family to go to college and graduate. He played football here when I was in middle school. So, like, I used to always grow up telling him, like, I wanted to uh, go to Oregon State because, like, he was the person I looked up to. And then uh, I just wanted to get away from home, but not be too far. And it just felt right. felt like home. Um, and then, like, just a follow-up question. Um, was it, like, was there anything specific for you compared to, like, other schools? Like, was it, like, the coach or, like, all the staff, your teammates, or, like, a mixture of everything? Um, I went to uh, high school with uh, Ethan Thompson. So I had played with him in high school, and he was already here with his dad. So that connection... And he was the first coach to talk to me. So, like, we built a great, a good relationship. Uh, Jared Lucas, my teammate, he's from California. I've, I grew up playing against him since middle school. So, it's just, it was, like, a lot of, like, connections. I, like I said, my cousin here, it just felt right. Like, I went to high school at Ethan. I grew up playing against Jared. Uh, me and Coach Thompson, we, had, we built a good relationship. So, everything just felt right. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so, out of high school, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but – you were the like ranked the number four number forty three point guard in the nation, correct? Uh, yeah, I think so. I remember something <laughs> like that. Um, so somewhere something like that. Um, yeah. but because of that, did you like feel a lot of pressure starting there? Like um, your freshman year. I, I want to say like I felt pressure because of that, but like I for sure felt pressure just because of like the career I had in high school. Um. I felt like I had a little name. I was one of the better players in California. Um, you know, friends and family, like, they don't really put pressure on you, but, you know, everybody's expectations and the expectations I have for myself, it's only natural to feel a little pressure, but not too crazy. Yeah. Um, and then, so going off of that, what was the transition um, into college basketball like for you? Um, Honestly, I would say it's harder than what I thought it was. Like, I thought it was going to be a lot easier than I expected just because watching, like, the people before me go through it or whatever. And I seen, like, there was a lot of people I had played against or knew that were already in college. So, like, I felt like talent-wise I was already there, which I, I kind of was. But, like, for me it was more so, like, mentally. Like, I had, I had to grow up a lot, like, on the court and off the court, being away from home, like, just learning how to – how to be a, uh, a college athlete or a professional athlete, like whatever you want, however you want to look at it. I just had to uh, learn up and grow a lot mentally. Yeah. Um, what do you feel is like the biggest difference between high school slash AAU and then um, like the Pac-12 or college level? Um, I'll say the difference between high school and AAU, well, at least for me, because like I know it's a lot different now with some other people, like high school, like, I really, like, we were really trying to win. Like, I care about winning and my team. So, like, I sacrificed a lot of, like, self uh, goals or achievements because, like, I wanted to win or I had a bigger picture with my team. Mm -hmm. And the AU is, like, a lot more, like, selfish. Like, you know, everybody has their own agenda more so because it's, like, that's not really a long – like, you're just there with them for the summer and a little bit of the spring, and then you go back to your high school team. And that's, like, the best time to get recruited. So it's, like, a lot more, like – go like self self selfish I would say yeah yeah what about like from those two um to college like what do you feel was the biggest difference or like what yeah uh the, well, the biggest difference between all of those in college is like I'll just say time time management like what you do with your time like in high school you're in class from eight to two whatever and then like after school practice or whatever but in high school, in college, it's you wake up, you got weights, practice, class, academic meetings. You know, you just got to be really efficient with your time because uh, that's a lot of hours in the day, but you also got a lot of stuff to do and a lot of stuff to get done. Yeah. And you take your business. Things go well. I'm definitely busier. Um, so what advice do you have for high school athletes um, that are hoping to play 
college basketball or played at a higher level? Some advice I'll give. I would just say stay the course. Um, if things are looking, whether things are looking right or they're not looking right, like stay the course, um, stay level-headed, never get too high, never get too low. Um, and remember, it's, it's a long journey. It's, it's really a marathon. Like So some days you might feel like you up and some days you might feel super down, super low, but you just got to remember, you just got to stay even kill and then things will work out. I like that. How did it feel to win a Pac-12 championship? Ah. Uh, uh, so far in my basketball career, that's the best feeling I ever felt. That that made that was a great feeling. That was a great feeling. Like I couldn't stop smiling. Had a couple of tears in my eyes. Like that was one of the best feelings in the world. So, what keeps you motivated when you're struggling, whether it's like athletically or academically? What keeps you? Uh, to to be honest, my family, because like they they there to support me right or wrong whether like things are going good bad like they're there with me regardless and like I got a big family and they all love me hard and like as long as like as long as I got them behind my back and I'm still going I'm, I want to make them proud so in my motivation for real mm -hmm. same here <laughs> okay now what's um a quote that you live by or just like take um, a quote I live by I'll say uh it's probably some one of my brothers tell me uh the work that you put in is the work that you get out. And then it's, it's pretty self-relevant, honestly. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, that's super important. And Well, I feel like in sports, but just in life, honestly, in general, yeah. with everything. Whatever. Yeah, whatever you put into something, that's going to get out of it. So, yeah. yeah. Um, is there anything else you want to talk about? Anything else you wanted to add? Uh, nah, go beef, though. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you again for... Um, doing this interview and good luck this season. Thank you. Appreciate you for having me. Mm -hmm.